So you're probably wondering how to become a network engineer and you've looked at other information, you've seen people posting about it and you're just very confused. You don't know where to start. Well, I'm going to break it down for you guys in a very easy bite-sized manner where you can just watch this video and just take away everything that you need and become a network engineer. So first things first, there's a one big thing that I want you guys to know is that you need to get a certification. People will tell you you won't need certifications. You don't need to worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. You can still bring it to the industry with no certifications. But I'm here to tell you guys, you need some sort of certification to break in. Whenever you're doing these interviews, whenever you're doing applications, there's, there's going to be gatekeepers, right? And these gatekeepers are just going to hinder you. And it's, and it's such a beneficial way for you to not only learn, but it's also beneficial for your career. So it, it's just a win-win. I know it costs money. I know it takes time, but it's definitely worth the hassle. Trust me. So now you're probably thinking, what certification should I get? Um, there's, a, there's a plethora of certifications you can look at. I mean, there's the CompTIA Security, CompTIA uh, Network Plus, CCNA, uh, Juniper, GNCI. I mean, there's a lot of different types that you can take, right? But do not worry about this. The only one that I highly recommend that you guys take is just the Cisco cert, uh, CCNA. Honestly, the most effective and most beneficial certification that you can take is the Cisco CCNA. Nothing better than that, honestly, because it goes through all the basics. It gets you understanding the basics of Cisco architecture. Basically, everything comes with networking, engineering, all the routing protocols, all routing and switching. Basically, it will prepare you for everything you possibly need to know to be able to get that first network engineering job. So with that being said, um, getting your CCNA should take about 60 to 90 days, depending on where you started from. Um, obviously there's different courses that you can take. One course that I do recommend is I'll link it down below. It's a Udemy course. I forgot the guy who, um, who taught it, but it was by far one of the most beneficial courses that I've taken. It was only like 50 bucks. So it's guys invest in yourself. That's the number one thing I want you to know is you have to invest in yourself to be able to break into basically any industry in, in IT. So now after you have your certification, um, you're probably thinking, what should I do? And actually, what I highly recommend you guys do is why you're getting a certification. If you guys are currently working, continue working your job. But if you're not working and you are looking for work, I do recommend you uh, apply for either help desk positions or even possible. Some 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 markets are really hot and you're able to find a position as a knock. Try to look into that. Um, but with that being said, look for either a help desk position or a knock position while you're studying for your CCNA. Um, because you kind of want to get that job experience and it's also going to help you because you can also connect with the network engineers there uh, Maybe talk to them for a bit. It really helps and get in that little like just that idea and experience and so it, it's gonna make a huge difference. So that's one thing I want you guys to know is look into getting a knock role or a some sort of role any honestly get any role in IT Why are you getting your CCNA and it's just gonna be beneficial for you? So step three, um, so now you have your certification, which is Cisco CCNA. You potentially have a position already in the IT industry. Now you can start honestly applying for network engineering roles. Um, there's going to be a group of people, and I'm going to preface this. There's going to be a group of people who say, oh, you have to wait, quote unquote, three to five years of being a help desk or you being knocked before you can become a network engineer. And that's just completely not true. I, as a new grad, became a network engineer right away. It's definitely possible. And by the way, you don't need a degree to become a network engineer. You don't. That's not required of you, but it is beneficial. I'll say that for sure. But in this market, um, experience is key, and getting your foot door in the getting your foot in the door by any sort of IT role will be beneficial for you. So now you want to build up your resume. Make sure your resume is good enough for the ATS system, because that ATS system will literally destroy your resume if you don't get it through because there's going to be certain keywords that they look for and if your keyword and those keywords are not in the resume literally you will not get hired or you won't even they won't even contact you so that's just one thing you have to know is making sure your resume is ats compliant uh, a lot of people think it's always oh, not that big of a deal but trust me um it makes a huge difference like you will be surprised by how much of a difference it is. And sometimes you have to pay for this. And I highly recommend you guys pay for it. Um, there's there's some people in Upwork that can do it for you for like 50 bucks. But trust me, it's worth the money. It's worth the money. Keep in mind, you're also in competition with other people, right? So you always want to put yourself ahead. Don't 
don't do what everyone else is doing. Everyone just mass applying to, to a bunch of jobs and hoping like spray and pray. That method does not work at all. Your best bet is to apply to maybe five, 10 jobs as in network, network engineering jobs. And then, and then after you apply, this is key. After you apply to the job, you want to hit up at least five people that work at that particular company in that specific role that you apply to on LinkedIn and actually message them and ask for them to ask if they could speak on the phone with them, maybe like a 15 minute chat. Literally, that is the most important thing you can possibly do is just having a little chat with them talking about height. Look, I understand that I am kind of messaging you. I don't know what I'm doing here, but trust me, it really works. So literally just having that chat with someone is going to be extremely beneficial. Now, step four, as soon as you land that job, um, the learning doesn't stop. Just keep that in mind. It's a continuous grind of nonstop learning. It's going to be, it's going to be a little bit, um, you may deal with um, imposter syndrome, right? There's going to be times you're like, man, I don't think I'm qualified for this position. I don't know if I'm not able, I'm not able to do this, but trust me, stick through it. Come stick through it. If there's one thing I'll tell you is in the beginning, it's going to suck. And I wish someone told me this. I remember when I first got my network engineering job, I was so over my head. I just could not understand anything. Like you would think the CCNA prepares you, but it really doesn't. Anyway, I mean, it'll prepare you for the basics, but obviously on the job, there's going to be different terminologies. They might do different things that are not even part of the CCNA curriculum that you're going to have to learn on the job. So the first six months are going to be kind of annoying. It's going to be a bit high stakes, high pressure because you're not, everything's going to be harder. But trust me, if you stick through it, it will be the greatest decision you ever make in your life. So just keep that in mind. So to wrap that up, um, there's four steps, right? Get your CCNA. Look for lower level network engineering jobs like knock or help desk. Number three, make sure your resume is airtight and perfect. And also message when you also apply for jobs, go to LinkedIn. And when you apply to the job, hit up at least five people from that particular job in that specific position. Because don't trust me, believe me, guys, when you hit up these people, they're willing to help you. Like they're actually willing to help you. Um, they're not mean people. They're actually there to help you and they'll give you intel and, and who knows? Your network is your net worth, right? That, that's one of the quotes from, I don't know who made that quote, but literally guys, if you just do that, just take, if you take that away, you'll literally get a job in any street. That's just like a little secret I have for you guys. But um, number four, um, imposter syndrome. <clears throat> you'll deal with it. Guys, don't worry. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the first six months, just deal with it. Maybe it'll be three months, but it just depends on the position. Um, but Yeah. That's that's basically it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll continue to make more videos um, for anything network engineering related. So peace.